Hey guys, welcome to this week's WealthBuildingIdeas.com video tip of the week. This week I'm going to dis discuss uh, software applications, but more importantly, the creation of registration codes and keys for those applications. Now, some of you might be asking, you know, what does this have to do with wealth building? Well, let's face it. If you're creating a software application or even a, a, any type of web application, a PHP script, CGI script, ASP script, JavaScript, whatever, uh, if, if you're not taking some form of security measure, it's going to be a lot easier for people to get a hold of your products freely, which obviously results in no money. Um, so this does relate to wealth building in, in one sense. Um, and the reason I'm going to discuss creating registration keys is because one of the questions I'm asked, I'm asked often is how do I come up with my registration keys? And some people have even asked me if I use some type of system, some method, some algorithm. And surprisingly, no, I don't. And the reason I don't is, quite honestly, I feel that if you're using some type of regular system, method, algorithm, some, some regularly defined method, uh, chances are it's going to be a lot easier to crack that code. Uh, not just for that one application, but any future applications if you're using the same type of system over and over. Um, so what I do instead is I use an unconventional method to create randomly generated registration keys. And if you'll bear with me just a moment, I'm going to show you exactly what I do. Stay tuned. Okay, we're back. As I was explaining earlier, this week we're going to go through the process that I myself use to create registration keys and registration codes for my software applications. And the, the tool we're actually going to use is an online tool. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your preferred browser, be it Firefox, Internet Explorer, Safari, whatever you use, go ahead and open up your browser. And we're going to navigate our way to a website called PC Tools. And they're located at uh, www.pctools.com. And once we have that site loaded in our browser, we're going to scroll down the page until we find the more articles and guides area a link rather then we're going to click on security guide for windows and we're going to scroll down until we find the secure password generator link now i realize we're not actually creating a password but if you think about it in essence we are we're generating a password for your software a password to access your software uh, now when i'm creating registration codes for my software applications or my web scripts uh, i generally like to use uh, registration codes are anywhere between 20 and 40 characters in length. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're actually going to use 36. So I'm going to type in 36 in the password length field. And because I don't need to see the phonetics, the Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta uh, printouts for each character that is generated, I'm going to unselect the Show Phonetics box. I'm going to leave everything else the way it is, except I'm going to want to include punctuation. So I'm going to check that box. What that's going to do is that's going to throw in uh, random characters such as the dollar sign, the hash symbol, exclamation marks, colons, semicolons, uh, what have you. And I'm going to, for quantity, uh, which I'll explain why in just a moment, I'm actually going to select 50. And then I'm going to go ahead and have the system generate these key codes. And here you see you now have a pantheon of key codes to use for your software applications. Now the reason I had you, the reason I generated 50 key codes is because there are times where I'm going to be using my laptop, whether it's out on the road, at a library, uh, wherever, and there are times where I don't know whether I'm going to have a connection. I don't know if I'm going to be somewhere that doesn't have Wi-Fi or uh, somewhere I can at least plug into a phone jack and use dial-up. Um, so there are going to be times where if I don't have that, I want to be able to still generate registration codes for my software. Um, so by by creating 50 at a time, what I do is I'll, I'll go through this list, I'll, I'll choose one at random to use for my current project, I'll take the other 49 and I'll throw them in a text file. And I'll then take that text file, throw it on my flash drive. And if you're anything like me, no matter where you go, no matter what you do, you've always got that flash drive with you. So I'm always guaranteed a fresh supply of registration codes, even if I'm not in my office, even if I'm not at home, even if I'm somewhere where I don't have access to the internet. Um, I've always, always got a fresh supply of registration codes. Now, that about wraps up this week's video tip of the week. 
Uh, for more helpful tutorials and tips, why don't you head on over to wealthbuildingideas.com. There you're going to find tons of tutorials, tips, uh, various business tools, and even some quick action plans. And of course, a plethora of wealth building ideas. You're also going to see a subscription form for my weekly newsletter. I, I urge you to sign up for that. Uh, there are going to be times where I send out tips, tricks, tutorials, whatever, um, just to subscribers of my newsletter. So you're definitely going to want to sign up for that. I will not bombard you with ads, but I will warn you now, yes, every email I do send out does have some form of ad, but number one, it relates to that tip, that tutorial, whatever topic I'm discussing at the time, the ad, um, <coughs> excuse me, the ad will be related to the topic at hand. Um, you're not obligated by any means to ever purchase anything, and you're going to find that there are actually sometimes where the ad will be for a free item or a free trial of something, or just a, a link to another website, whatever. Um, but again, you're not going to get bombarded. There will be a specific topic for each email, um, and they will all be business related, wealth building related, so on and so forth. So I implore you to go ahead and subscribe to that when you, when you get over to wealthbuildingideas.com. Until next week, this is Jonathan Langley from wealthbuildingideas.com, hoping you've enjoyed this week's video tip of the week. Have a great day, everyone. Ciao for now.